Who hasn't thought to themselves, gee, things really seem to be wacky these days. At the time of recording this video, the US and Canada has shot down three unidentified objects, and later, there was one seen in China. This is just one more series of events of a crazy non-stop ride we've had since, well, many say since 2011-ish. I think we can all say things seem to have ramped up in the following years. Of course, 2008 is when the Large Hadron Collider was first activated. A few years ago, a young child prodigy got relatively famous for suggesting that certain experiments with the LHC ended up collapsing our universe and shifted us into an adjacent one, leading to a lot of this strangeness. Another strange occurrence came from a mysterious note left by someone claiming to be a former scientist working at CERN who apologized for what he has done to humanity. What exactly was it that he was sorry for? Let's find out. In 2008, CERN turned on the Large Hadron Collider for the first time. This is the largest particle accelerator in the world. This machine fires particles at each other at high rates and smashes them together. This machine was shut down due to what officials say was a magnetic quench incident that caused excessive damage to over 50 superconducting magnets. What this essentially is, is a gigantic magnetic field creating intense heating to coils that start a chain reaction to the other coils. This is accompanied by a loud bang as the energy in the magnetic field is converted to heat and a rapid boil off of the cryogenic fluid. The abrupt decrease of current can result in kilovolt inductive voltage spikes and arcing. Back in 2010, CERN fired up the LHC again, and during this time it was operational between 2010 and 2013. And this is when they discovered the god particle, hadrons, and created quark gluon plasma. They then shut down the LHC for two years for more upgrades, before its second run from 2015 to 2018. In the second run, they increased a lot of the power and luminosity, and had doubled the capacity. This was again followed by another shutdown that would last until April 22, 2022. And again, during this time, the output had been higher, higher energy, and higher luminosity. Theories of course circulated around what they were really doing over at CERN, among them that they would create black holes that would destroy everything. Interesting enough, this was based on truth, as scientists did say they have the potential to create black holes. Though in their estimations, they would be micro black holes and would decay super quickly, and of course pose no threat. Of course, some of us have seen too many movies not for this to add fuel to the speculation. Other theories suggest opening up a portal to another dimension and creatures or entities coming through to our world. And my personal favorite, and the one I align myself with, is the one the child prodigy Max Lowen came up with a few years ago, postulating that in certain experiments that ended up collapsing our universe and we all shifted into a, an adjacent one that has some subtle differences but enough to make us notice oddities and peculiarities. Things like the Mandela Effect. Now, say what you will about these theories. It certainly doesn't help that CERN put on a ceremony that looked like this. Another mystery occurred about four years ago when an anonymous individual claiming to be a former scientist at CERN left a long message about what they have really been doing and his role in something he felt he needed to apologize for and warn humanity about. On March 22nd, 2019, this person and his team were busy running their normal experiments. Everything was normal. His eight-person team proofread all the coding to fire up the collider as per protocol. They fired it up and roughly three minutes into the collider running, the whole facility began to glow a deep yellow. Now, he states there is usually a glow when the particles smash into each other, but to this scientist, this glow was different. Something was off. It sent a bolt of urgency into him and the team and they rushed to shut the collider down. When they noticed a major error in the code they had previously missed. So they needed to shut it down before anything in his or her words, major happened. In what seemed like hours, the collider was finally stopped. Everything was inspected to make sure there was no damage. It was then that one of the physicists on the team turned pale. The physicist was looking at an orb floating in front of the collider, no bigger than an apple. This 
person that's writing this letter couldn't describe the properties of the orb exactly, saying it didn't have a color but was dark, something otherworldly. Then, after a few minutes, it just evaporated. After the initial shock, word got around the facility and they all decided to research further on what they had done. And within three months, they had created this, what they refer to it as, a portal. Roughly about 30 times. Because of course scientists did this. During these research sessions, they had a team of 10 in full hazmat suits approach the void, cautiously inserting a metal ballpoint pen into the anomaly. And pulling the pen out of it, they saw no visible changes. However, after a series of tests performed later on the pen, they were shocked to see how high the radiation levels were on it. Apparently it was so intense that all 10 researchers died days after coming into contact with this pen. Of course, this didn't seem to stop the research, they just kept on going because of course they did. After this incident, several unmanned drones were sent into the void to get video and photo samples, but they all failed as connection was lost the second the drone went through the portal. What happened next changed everything. After a few more months of research, they fired up the collider, as usual, to create this void. However, this time, instead of the yellow light, something else happened. After the first couple collisions, time felt to the researchers seemed to slow down. The room grew dark and a portal formed. But this time, it was 15 feet tall. It was then a black figure slowly started coming out of the portal. Humanoid, but to this individual, anything but human. It had no features, and it gave off strong vibrations. It was so massive it had to duck to come out of the void. And then it spoke. But not audibly. It was inside their head with a blistering static sound, and this is what it said. You creatures have no place peering into our world. Your destruction was set in stone. The moment you open the doorway into our dimension, we will exterminate your kind as your knowledge of our existence threatens us. This is not a warning, but a promise. At the time of this person's letter, they claimed it happened a week prior. He claimed he might be unalived for publishing this information and left a message saying, I was a top scientist at CERN and I'm sorry for what I have caused. And that was it. Now, I look at the poster, and it was their only post. They've never been heard from again, at least from that account. And this, of course, plays on many of the fears of what really is going on at CERN. And there has, no doubt, been an increase in strangeness in our world, especially since 2008, or mostly since 2011, give or take. Some of us have really seen a shift in reality, and it seems to be speeding up. Almost like it's going towards something, some sort of event. Could this be related to the LHC? Could they have actually collapsed our universe and sent us into another one where all this wacky stuff is happening? If they have, then we're still in a universe which also has a CERN and an LHC, and it's still running experiments. So this begs the question, have they collapsed more than one universe? And are we continuously jumping into adjacent ones, explaining the acceleration of strangeness we are all seeing? Now, I enjoy this theory because I'm not sold on it being untrue. I think it's entirely possible, and it really would explain the increasing insanity. However, I postulate that not everyone survives each collapse, and that only some of us pass on to the next universe. And that's why you see some people have one set of memories, and another group of people have another set of shared memories. Also, for a lot of people, all this seems normal, where some of us feel like we're being gaslit and are left looking around scratching our heads. As for the story I just told, it is unlikely to be true. Just a story posted online to freak people out. It was posted on a Reddit group called No Sleep. But it's compelling because it feels possible and not too far off what could happen. Sometimes these stories are put out there as a psyops, and these are always most effective when there's a glimmer of truth to them. But in this case, it just seems far too similar to the show Stranger Things, or things like it. But as of recent, we've had major weird social changes, the COVID thing, and 
At the time of making this video, we currently have those unidentified objects being shot down. More popping up off all over the world. Ohio had a massive train crash and massive explosion and chemical leak. Turkey had massive earthquakes with tens of thousands dead. The war in Ukraine and global tensions heating up. It feels like things are getting weirder, stranger, and it's escalating. Almost like reality itself has been destabilized. Of course, this could all just be a whole lot of nothing. Just normal warring nations, random events, and normal social change. And our awareness of it through social media and immediate communication could really be what's all the differences between what's happening now and what it used to be like. However, I'm not really sold on that answer. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. It really helps out a small channel like this. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.